Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and boy oh boy, this uh, this topic was blowing up. Uh, people were talking about it last night. Um, I got DMs and emails all through the night, and uh, more this morning. So I was going to do a Xerxes uh, Frank Miller review, and I'll either just skip that one, because um, I'm trying not to get too far behind with uh, comics. But uh, anyway, just get into this. So yesterday, this woman, Untamed... What does this say? Usually, I thought when you clicked on it, it popped up. Maybe I'm about to screw something up, aren't I? Oh no. Does it go back? If I go back? Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, a lot of people were sharing this one. It got tons of. Let me see what, what it's got. Oh, actually, <laughs> I guess all the retweets were people retweeting it to me. So, anyway, this woman says, I just use Facebook for fam slash friends. So, as I'm scrolling, Looking at cute babies, a promoted site assaults my eyes. Artist J Scott Campbell. I've never seen his name spelled like that. Okay, so uh, one of the things SJWs do is they're, they'll purposefully misspell things so you can't find it, so they can talk about you. You know, um, they'll, they'll a lot of times they'll do comics and diversity instead of diversity and comics for my channel. Granted, he draws all women scantily clad. But to also choose to make Tiger Lily as a tied up victim captive is. I don't even know what this emoji is. Uh, so then it goes on. So Tiger Lily looking like a dime. Um, yes, I know it's a fictional character before the inevitable. It's just a cartoon people chime in. But it's telling and gross that he chose to portray her in this manner state. A native woman captured and tied up by white men. I don't even want to know if he has a Pocahontas version. I wasn't expecting so much traction on this, but I forgot that whenever you mention problems with non-native depictions of us, MTV mascots, appropriation, they swarm because it's a threat to their sense of supremacy and a fake fetishized native images are good. Real natives, not so much. But I've heard all these same weak justifications before and the attempt to silence native women and reduce us to just being, quote, hyper outrage. Ooh, that's a good quote. I'm gonna use that a whole lot, a lot of things. Uh, are, or mad feminists and social justice warriors is typical erasure tactics and the violence women, native women actively face is ignored. So this is like a cavalcade of um, college speak IRL. <laughs> so I remember when I was going to college, I, I noticed that, you know, you're reading your friend's paper. Hey, can you check this out? And there's all these like, uh, uh, words that exist in, co in college that nobody uses in real life. Like nobody says detritus. Nobody says semiotics. Nobody uses the word hegemony. Like these are just words that exist in college papers. Um, but erasure, uh, that one silencing the way they use it, violence, uh, I like how they just, uh, words mean anything. Assaulted. Seeing a picture you didn't like means being assaulted. So the shtick about uh, this is that uh, I'm pretty sure she's captured at one point in the story. So uh, he's doing a sexy version of that being captured. By the way, not to skeeve people out since people call me comics dad, but being tied up is, it, it's a whole subculture so there's people into that type of stuff um so uh j scott campbell responded uh really not looking to get into a back and forth argument about this except i will point out a tied up captive tiger lily is a pretty standard image even in the g-rated disney classic so he basically reimagined this one as she's an adult and um so then uh <laughs> what does this go? Not to mention Tiger Lily and all of the, quote, Indians in Peter Pan are part of a fictional world that the author who wrote this about a place where dead children go and never grow up was part of an early European Indian craze that dehumanized us and fed into dangerous tropes today. Wow. Why do people stay in America? It just sounds so horrible the way they describe it. Uh, so, um... Then she's like, uh, LOL comic book stands. For the record, I have zero problems with sexy images or even pornographic images. And I think he's a great artist. But when a non-native man 
depicts a native woman in a hypersexualized captive situation where there's an ongoing real history of that problem. Um, I'm going to use one of their words, unpack. There's so many things to unpack. Number one, these people are firm. People like this untamed and other SJWs. They are firm and repugnant segregationists. They believe in constantly identifying people by their race, ethnicity, etc., etc., et cetera, and then different rules for different people, different spaces for different people. You shouldn't be here because you're non-native. Um, this is something that it's like out of the, the 1800s, uh, the backwardness of these. These are people, so-called progressives. Um, so it's kind of hard to fo follow uh, combos in a... Uh, Twitter, but um, wow, oh, it's branches. I hate when they branch like that. Kind of ruins the video. So um, find the rest of it. But it wasn't his original creation, so he's off the hook. Entitlement and invalid justifications are just settler, settler traits, I guess. So I'm gonna hurt your feelings there, Untamed. Uh, you lost. You lost. You fought for 500 years and you lost. This is the story of every single culture in the history of humanity. Whatever cultures existed, there is not one culture that has never lost. You lose, you get overtaken, the, 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 the Normans uh, mixed with the Saxons, and you get England. England is a conquered people. They were conquered by the Nor Norse. And then uh, uh, some of them went to America. Everyone's conquered. Everyone's conquered. My Irish settlers, or my ancestors, didn't come here because they thought it was really good. They, they came here because they were utterly, utterly defeated people who just wanted a slightly better life. You lost. It's over. It ended 150 years ago. No. Yeah, 150 years ago. It's done. You sound like a clown uh, calling people settlers, and you sound like what you are, an extreme racist. Uh, so, um, okay, okay, so uh, this might be a little, another little branch right here. Uh, so this other one was talking about something, fetishism, uh, t tying native women up. That applies to all women. And then uh, J. Scott Campbell just does an oh well. Um, so then uh, he says, that's one way to say you have no problem being anti-indigenous. You know, we have the highest rates of missing and murdered women. The comments via YouTube, the, 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 the six uh, uh, a character aimed to appeal to young children consists of adult men being so sexually explicit. Um, thanks for contributing to something we have to constantly protect ourselves from. What the hell are these people talking about? And this is endless. I mean, I, I probably should have prepared this before, but, um, oh, now calling them uh, racist. Way to go. Native women telling you exactly why this is problematic. I mean, hey, maybe you're totally clueless to the issues and plights affecting us, but your response says it all. Uh, wow, guy, no holding back your true racist self now. I guess you're implying... <laughs> so what you're saying? I guess you're implying that working with a native woman would be a hassle, an annoyance. I mean, she might tell you truths about your warped settler fantasies and the impact to uh, real native women. Can't have that. It's disgusting. This kind of... This, this is 1800s racism. And it's in the mind and in the speech of this woman and her friend. God, Rocco, stop. We get it. You love his work and will defend it to no end. It's way more important than Native women. But your opinion as a non-Native man is unwarranted, ridiculous, and just creepy. Go try to settle or explain elsewhere and stop adding me. Um, yeah, I like the word hyper outrage. This is uh, definitely that. So uh, let's go over to J. Scott Campbell. Hers, hers keeps branching off. So basically he explains himself. So a little background. Two years ago he did a uh, picture of Riri. It was a fairly trash variant edition. In that, I mean, it was obviously done very quickly. Um, 
No, I'll just Google that right now. J. Scott Campbell Reed. So what happens is it was, uh, this is the title, this is the cover. He did this one and he did this one. As you can see, it kind of sucks. Uh, it's one of the most slapdash, lazy drawings I've ever done. SJWs came out of the woodwork to say that because her midriff is bared, that he was somehow sexualizing a child. Um, uh, this is like a truth I've discovered in life. People accuse you of what they are. Uh, cheaters always think their partner is a cheater. Uh, stupid people ever think everyone else is dumb. And liars think everyone else is a liar. Uh, I, I, I look at a very jaundiced eye that people would accuse uh, this of sexualizing a teen. What I think it happens in their head is these freakos, they become attracted and they go, oh, that's not me, it's you. Uh, I showed this to my son two years ago. He was uh, in middle school and he said, that looks like half the girls in my school. So then as an apologia, um, he drew this one and they swapped it out for the Midtown Comics uh, special. Uh, this one where uh, he literally has to hide most of her body behind the armor because we apparently live in the Neo-Taliban days. Um, so go to J. Scott Campbell's, I'm gonna make sure I'm sorting by the tweets and replies. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little bit hard. So, but he actually has more uh, interesting things to say that they were just doing like, so one of the things that's really uh, shocking about these SJWs is they always talk about themselves as if they are homogenous, as if all native women, um, excuse me, first nations, um, uh, as if they all think the same, have the same life experiences, etc., etc. Okay. So what is today? So when, sorry, sometimes. Oh my gosh. So here he is, says, okay, so he's talking about, you know, that she was captured in the story. Uh, appreciated, no worries, just a typical day in this new hyper-outraged society. It's become so common that I'm pretty numb to the rants. Uh, and I've learned multiple times over that there's never a conversation, only a lecture. You do you, I'll do me. That's a great statement. And here's the thing, just like with Frank Cho, J. Scott Campbell's, he's a liberal Democrat. He's a progressive, but he's a normie. He, 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 he's not these uh, uh, hyper-outraged uh, SJW freak shows. Uh, so he says, uh, I'm someone who considers myself to be a lifelong progressive, but my God, do liberals love to attack their own. As an artist, I get regularly attacked for not being woke enough to every microaggression in identity politics. No wonder the right gets so annoyed by us Gs. Um... Scrolling down some more. Uh, by the way, just a little FYI for a few of you newbies to my very popular fairy tale fantasies series from a few years back. It was a pretty obvious the playful pinup styles were all adult aged reimagines of classic characters. Pretty much everyone at the time caught that. So that's a, that's something they like to play characters that there are younger versions and older versions. Uh, these SJWs will accuse you of. Uh, uh, sexualizing the younger ones um uh they you know they've done gwen stacy a bunch of different versions i guess in her com comic now she's like 16 or 17 uh frank cho like two years ago did a sexy version of her which was clearly an adult to which robbie rodriguez just like freaked out and basically said he was going to fight him irl um scrolling down some more uh, and then uh, J. Scott Campbell says to that racist woman who was calling him Settler, uh, Listen, we're clearly like not likely to get along, but I have no ill will towards you. The drawing you called out was simply a recreation of an image of mine and many others used. There was no intention to slander Native Americans. At worst, I was naive to your cause. Don't no. You're doing good. You don't you don't you don't have to meet an unreasonable person in the middle. You've seen from the beginning that this woman was racist, that this woman is a segregationist, that this woman is hateful, that this woman is trying to destroy you. You don't have to go meet in the field between the two of you. You know, halfway between right and wrong is also wrong. 10% between right and wrong is still wrong. 
you're in the right, she's in the wrong. I'm not big into cursing, uh, but this is uh, the time where you just can just say, you know, F off. You're clearly a malicious person, and I don't have to agree with you at all. Uh, and for what it's worth, this image is five years old, and this is the first time anyone has had a strong reaction or any real negative reaction, period. So yes, it seemed pretty out of the blue. Um, and he shows some other, you know, sexy girl stuff he does. By the way, women love stuff like this. One of the big things is, is you know, um, uh, as uh, comics has shrunk while supposedly appealing to uh, women, they're really just appealing to SJWs. Uh, I used to take dates to comic shops. Uh, every single one had the exact same reaction. Now, these are all normie girls, not really interested in comics, but oh, fine, okay, fine, we'll go once. Um, they would laugh good-naturedly at the, uh, uh, the idealized figures of uh, the women, and they would say something like, I wish I looked like that. Um, and then they would forget about it, as, you know, as soon as the door closed and we left. Uh, normal women do not have problems with stuff. Uh, women, straight women in included, are very much into uh, girly art. Um, so J. Scott Campbell says to, uh, you can't win, Rocco. They just live to argue. When you're nice and don't fight, they just yell at you more or get bored and move on to the next fight. It's an endless loop of anger. Um, so then he says, to, so to recap my evening, a few years ago I drew a scene from Peter Pan with what I thought was a harmless and playful depiction of an adult age tiger lily. And tonight got called a racist and a pedo for having drawn that. Thanks, Twitter. How's your evening going? Um, so then at the end he says, I uh, just wanted to thank all of you for your overwhelming amount of positive comments and support. I have the best fans and friends. Today's a new day. Not going to let the haters and the thought police get me down. Back to drawing all the things you guys love. And that's exactly what he does. One of the reasons, actually the only reason, J. Scott Campbell is so popular. And if you're not looking at the screen, now's a good time to look at it because I'm just going to go through his uh, art is that he draws things people like. He draws idealized men, idealized women. He purposely draws for things to be the most attractive. Even when he draws a motorcycle, he tries to draw it in the most appealing way ever. His whole thing for all of his art is to maximize visual appeal. Uh, every single part of this is done to be interesting, to be enticing, to be attractive, attractive, not just in a sexual sense, but in the way that I really like how he does, you know, uh, the contrast of the gloves versus the darker bodysuit. I like all these, uh, how he does the wrinkles and this scritchy, scratchy style. Uh, he, as I say, he, SJWs don't human very well, but good artists, guys like uh, uh, J. Scott Campbell, they do. They understand because they're normally, they do things that appeal to them and, and know that that's going to appeal to a broader audience. So anyway, I've got to get back to work. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you still subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the Super Chat, the Patreon, and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content. I, uh, I don't like to fall behind. I think I'm just going to skip on this Xerxes. I'm going to read it. I mean, in case... At least, eh, it's pretty much looking the same as the others. I'll mention it. My next, uh, my next uh, video will be Doomsday Clock number five, I believe. Yeah. And I'm going to skip this Xerxes one just because I don't like being behind. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll have uh, more videos up later today.